Well, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 review, and this one is on the Mandalorian Starfire. Okay, so on the front of the box here, have the LEGO Star logo, Star Wars logo, and 332nd Trooper indicating Clone Wars, and picture of the set in action, and the three minifigs included, the Disney logo, and Rage re at recommendation is 9 and up. Set number 75316 has 544 pieces. As we flip to the back, you see a picture of it in a, another resting position and all the minifigs shooting each other and all the features of it, of course. And yeah. And now onto the instruction manual. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Add for the Skywalker Saga game. And add for all the minifigs included in this upcoming summer wave. Or this current summer wave, sorry. And then add for some current and last year's Clone War sets and the last building steps. First off is the mini figs. Hang on a second. <coughs> okay. So first of all we get Bo Katan, of which first time I've ever including her, but and of course, helmet print similar to that of Sabine Wren from Star Wars Rebels, of course. And besides that, torso print, leg print, all good. And Mandalorian Warrior, of which done pretty well. Interesting print on the helmet, of course. And last of which is first time of having Gar Saxon, of which with interesting new helmet piece. Will look sort of the same, but with the horns on it, of course. And besides that. All, all the printing, all new, it looks great. All of which good printing, and of course, all of which do have sort of the same blasters, of course, like we've had with Sabine Wren and Rebels. And also, if I take off all that, although Gar Saxon does have a specific uh, like hair piece, although, well, different styles, both this and also in Rebels, of course, and whereas Bo Katan does have a swappable hair piece. Of course, and it does well capture that. And besides that, and also where it has the Mandalorian Warrior plain black headpiece, which I think all the stormtroopers and clone troopers could have and should have. Yeah. And also do get uh, similar backpack pieces and back torso printing underneath, also done well. And and bo only one with a reversible headpiece, of course. And besides that, oh, which, so this is which great minifig selection, all of which exclusive, of course. And that is it right there. To the Mandalorian Starfighter itself. So, as you see, kind of large for it. You know, kind of similar to the version that was out in 2012, but at least with some newer features like spring loaded launchers, of course, and uh, stud shooters as well, obviously. And of course, but so now for the feature, as you see. That the front part of which, a couple of those, like a couple of regular quarter pieces, and also some curved sloping on it, and of course, some newer corner slopes, of course, and Nexo Knight's shield, like most sets do now, and also good sim sim symmetry on this one. Same with the wings, which we'll see in a minute. And of course, have the stud shooters on the sides, of course, and 
As for the cockpit section, which you can lift up, of course, and enough space to fit two figs into, like so. And of course, it does have a well printed control panel piece, like most, like all sets are to have now. And underneath for the landing gear of which, just a few inverted jagged slopes. So it's kind of similar to that of like the X wings and whatnot. And if look on it from the back part of which, as he has this uh, front part jagged slope and with a sticker on it, a lot of stickers in this set and. Also, this interesting turret, which done pretty well, and also, not sure if this piece is exclusive or all new or whatever, but kind of new for me, where it's like a T-bar, but without an extra bit on it. Kind of interesting, pretty neat for that. But besides that, it does swivel around like so. And for the wing parts, which have another one of those like front slopes, of course, and of course, some good rebling around with the corner plates all the way up. And of course, ending off with the same kind of pieces in light blue, or regular blue, of course. And to the main feature, which is if you take it on up. You know, it's on ratcheted joints and can come forward, but it stops at one of the ball jointed pieces there. It does that, and then of course you can revert it like that, and also that too. And then see, there it is in its flight mode, of course, and also the back part do have those. Like a uh, moving or, or I mean, mover kind of pieces, but in trans yellow, pretty nice and good for mocking. And of course, wire is off like so, of course. So now on to it, the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, this I think a pretty good, quite cool set. I like good color scheme and a perfect minifig selection of all exclusive and all, and of course. First times of getting Bo Katan and Gar Saxon, which hopefully with Bo Katan appear also in the Mandalorian sets as well, but we'll see. And also, a which kind of good but unique, at least a little bit different than the 2012 version, but at least it kind of well lives up to that. At least it may be a little different, but I can forgive the difference of it, but yeah. Maybe they'll redo that version in the future, but whatever. And also good playability with the fold-out wing feature and of course the launchers. And as for the price of which, uh, pretty good for what it is, and yeah. And if you're looking to get this set for your collection, definitely pick up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.